Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Training Group, and our toll-free number, 800-951-0592. The website at allamericangold.com, and hope you're all having a great day. Uh, guys, uh, the, the radio station 1360 up in Colorado, uh, we're, we're uh, just overwhelmed. Uh, the streaming, everybody, you know, so many people want to listen, and I get it, because it's so hard to get the the truth out there, and, and banning, and blocking, and this and that, uh, it's overwhelmed our stream, uh, we've got one of the best of the best, though, Brian is on the case, uh, we're working on resolving it uh, as quickly as we can, hang in there with us, uh, David Knight, day number two, everybody's elated. Listen, uh, this is why when you talk about, hey, why do I uh, advertise with 1360? Why do I support the advertiser on 1360? It's for shows just like that. Uh, David Knight now uh, a member of the 1360 lineup. He's on every day, Monday through Friday, uh, right before my show. So he's the hour before. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to help support that radio station, the CBD products by my kind, the best way to do it. And if you go out to our shopping page today, we've got the basket. Somebody's winning this basket in the month of May. How, how it works, anytime you place an online order through our shopping cart, you the we generate a a ticket for you at the end of the month we're going to draw a winner and you can see all the products in there this is like the uh the personal care basket you're going to get the lotion the salve the tincture the lip balm the cocoa coffee and then the newest product it's not available yet but the newest product that is coming, the bath soak. You know, you, you think about, uh, you know, after a, a tough a tough day of pickleball, maybe I'd go home and I'd put some Epsom salts in the tub. No, no longer. Uh, but someone's going to win that basket uh, just for ordering. Uh, just another great incentive uh, from the, the folks at my kind. Uh, check it out. Listen, these CBD products, and I, and I know I've told you a lot, but I only tell it to you be out of personal experience. I was like a lot of you. Ah, you take them, and, and all of a sudden, every ailment you've ever had, you're cured. No. But if you don't want to be taking, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 Advil a week, try it. If you're having trouble sleeping, give it a shot. Right, if you if you're dealing with anxiety, if if you uh, people from restless leg, anybody that's going through chemo should be taking the tincture. Anybody, you know, all of these things. It really helps to uh, with people that are taking you know a, a lot of prescriptions, and 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 it causes them, you know, whether it be aches, pains, whatever. Give it a shot. It's so many people. Uh, telling us what it can do, and now you get a chance uh, to win uh, the My Kind basket. So go out to 1360KHNC, click the shopping cart button, and uh, start the healing process today because it, it really can. It really can help. Uh, and and our pricing is the best around. And I know there's a lot of CBD products out there. Most of them are garbage. I hate to say it, but it's true. You know, they they they, it's, they see they call it CBD oil or or uh, synthetic CBD and all that, that's not what you want. This is the purest of the pure. Uh, it's manufactured in the best way possible. I mean, this is uh, all the, the 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 hemp that they use. It's specially designed for CBD. I mean, technology today. You you know that's how it is. It's all grown organically. Here's the other thing. It's all done right here in the U.S. Everything, everything's done in in Colorado. This is, you know, we're putting American people to work, right? You know what you're getting. 
everything we don't put a single product on this website without the independently lab tested and certified so we know what's in it there's no THC zero nada in here there's no marijuana you know you're not gonna get loopy and dopey and all that there, there isn't uh, this is just pure CBD isolate uh, it can help you give it them a shot and the pricing for the best of the best, well, it's the best. So there you go. Go to the shopping cart button. Check it all out. Uh, again, the, it helps with people like David Knight. And I apologize for the, the problem. We're just overwhelmed. Listen, so many people, I get it. You want to hear the messages. You want to hear from people like David Knight, people like myself. Maybe it's Alex Jones that you like or... Uh, any of the the open forum guys, Bucky Dillon in the morning, uh, we've got them here, uh, and it's because of all of the great support. Uh, I'd be remiss, uh, Bradley Dean, another one of those guys uh, that people love out there. Uh, and by ordering those products, it helps us a great deal and support our advertisers. Great new bunch of advertisers coming. We're super excited about it, and, and I promise you we will get – uh, the situation with the stream resolved. Uh, it's a good problem. They're, they're, they're working on it. And uh, again, most likely, uh, what I'm hearing is a lot of these issues are not all. Technology is great until you really want to use it, right? Just ask Robin Hood. Yeah, I guess they had another outage today. Back after the break. 800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News Hour, Joe Jaquint here, and uh, again, um, we're working on it, and, it, and it's so hard, you know, all this technology stuff, it's almost like, hey, we don't like you guys, so they just try to make, everything seems to be fine on our end of things, but we're working on it, Brian's got to get to the bottom of it, he's uh He's immensely talented. That's the one great thing, too, where uh, as we add uh, to the Patreon network here and the uh, excursion broadcasting, uh, obviously the great people like, you know, Ramon in Phoenix, this guy's a master. He's he's seen it all. Uh, but uh, we're, 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 we're learning how to fix ourselves and, and uh, deal uh, with all of the technology in front of us get there and we will figure out how to build a better mouse trap speaking of traps boy are we in one last night Bank of America had a new spin on the quote unquote transitory inflation a pre-recorded and, and does it matter that it was pre-recorded but Janet Yellen who let's face it ever you know what even before she became the Treasury Secretary had been talking about how we need to spend 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 yeah get that debt going Joe you can do it buddy Telling everybody who would listen, oh yeah, we got to spend this money. Absolutely. And, and we got to do it right away. Go big. Right? And she did all the tours. You know, again, remember how powerful the media is. They've been gaslighting us for decades. That's why it's so important. You know, uh, stations like 1360 are around. You know, do you think it was by accident that they changed all the laws when it came to media? See, there was laws in place to prevent this. They, you know, credit where credit is due. Once upon a time, our elected officials were worried about this very thing thing that we're witnessing today and there used to be laws hey you can only have access to X and get any bigger they limited your ability to control the media 
They didn't like that. Same thing about, you know, and, and some of you will remember back when, you know, back, you know, remember all the regional banks we used to have. And, and everybody knows, man, when you moved, if you moved from California to Arizona, if you moved from Ohio, or if you moved from Washington uh, to, to Texas, you got to find a new bank. Because the bank you banked at probably didn't exist in this new place. <laughs> now, right? Now you don't need a new bank. You move wherever you want. Now, yeah, they're all there. Unless, you know, there's a few of you out there. I know who you are. There's a few of you out there that, that bank locally. Maybe you got a little credit union, right? Or, or you support some, uh, you know, uh, a, a small bank in your town because you actually like the bank, the gals that work at the bank, they actually know who you are. But most people don't. Most people, it's all about the convenience. And and you sit there and, and you start like, wait a minute, what changed? Why would the, all of a sudden, would this be okay? That doesn't sound like a great idea. Right? I mean, when you really think about it, does it sound like a great idea? To only have a, a handful of media companies and that's it. Right? And, and when you look at uh, all of these companies, right, they, the, the advertisers, if you will. Well, it's just easy. Here, yeah, I'll just, do, I'll just advertise with iHeart. And, and there you go, I'm done. Because they're everywhere. It's easy. And all of a sudden, what do you have? You don't have access to the truth anymore. You don't, well, and it, how about, just forget about the truth. For a minute. I mean, that's important. But you don't have access to a different viewpoint. Hey, you know what? I've got counter information. And, and this is what we're seeing, and we watch it here. We've seen Janet Yellen for, what, a year? Two? Right? Because remember, she started this ridiculousness. Actually, well, let's face it, she's been part of it for a long time. But after she left the head of the central bank, and uh, when... when uh, the election was approaching, a lot of people thought that Joe Biden was going to tap her as Treasury Secretary. Of course, all of us know, right, her and Trump did not get along. I wonder why. But she's been out on all the media channels telling us, we got to spend that money. Forget about the debt. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. It's not going to cause inflation. Matter of fact, she just did it this weekend again. Said, hey, don't worry, Joe Biden's spending plans, they won't cause inflation. And then today, out of nowhere, in a pre-recorded interview, and again, I don't know that pre-recorded, it's just odd to me. What do you mean pre-recorded? She's on TV whenever she wants. Well, she, I don't know if she conceded today, but she said the following. It may be that interest rates will have to rise somewhat to make sure that our economy doesn't overheat. Excuse me? This was a economic seminar presented by the Atlantic by the way the, the I think that's the, the magazine the Atlantic even though the additional spending is relatively small to the size of the economy it could cause some very modest increase in interest rate now she's trying to say just a little bit What? 
What's modest? I don't know what modest is. <laughs> Modesty may not be my strong suit. But I mean, let's let's just do some math. Right, we have a $2.25 trillion infrastructure package, a $1.9 trillion family package. I mean, that's $4 trillion. I mean, I know it's probably going to be $21 trillion, but still, that's a pretty big slice. And we haven't even gotten his Green New Deal package or the next round of checks package. But it's modest. It's modest. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. I, you know, Jeff Gunlatch always, well, they're guessing. That was his thing about this inflation. They're guessing. They're hoping it's transitory. I think they already know. They, but these, she was talking back about the stimulus. Don't worry. Okay, well, maybe we're going to have to raise rates. The end because they're not going to be raising rates a quarter of a percent or a half or one percent or two that's not going to fix it it's not going to fix it and remember now raising rates bigger by a lot by hundreds of billions of dollars I mean, if they had to go back to two, three, four percent interest rates, just add trillion plus dollars onto the debt just on interest payments alone. Smiths. No. These are handouts. Now, you take your your uh, infrastructure package. There's some money there for roads and bridges and airports and uh, the ports. Those are investments. Sure they are. We're, we're fixing up our roads and our bridges and our ports and our airports. That, that's an investment. $500 billion of handouts. That's not an investment. When we talk about uh, more, med, you know, more free stuff for not an investment. Right? Say, hey, free money for states. That's not an investment. Out of a pension plan is not an investment. It's not. Rewarding failure is never an investment. That's like, think about it this way, because, you know, sometimes they, 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 they want to confuse us. Think about it this way, you're, you're a student, and you get an F on your paper. And the teacher comes and says, well, you know what? Mary over here, she got an A. Let me just take some of her stuff. And give it to you. I'm going to take out some of the good stuff in her paper and replace it with your crappy stuff in your paper, and we'll give her a C and you a C. That's not an investment. If anything, you could argue that's the exact opposite of an investment, right? Because now you've said to Mary, "Hey, don't work so hard, Mary." And what have you said? To, to Smuckatelli. Hey, you don't... You can work even less hard now. We'll just give you what you want. But they like to call it an investment. And again, they own the media. You don't think... Nobody has this question to her? Are these really investments, Janet? Or is this taking rewarding failure and punishing success? Which one is it? And oh, by the way... Are you finally telling us that you were wrong about inflation? She says our con economy needs to be competitive. And it needs to be productive. 
And I think our economy will grow faster because of that. Who cares how fast the economy grows? Seriously. Do you care? Does it matter? What matters is, am I living better or worse? That's what matters. See, but they need this thing called, and remember, they're confusing us with terms. Growth. Like growth's a, a, a good thing. Let me tell you right now, I, I've had some growth. And my wife has decided, <laughs> yeah, I've grown enough. And now I'm drinking celery juice again. And, and rightfully so, right? The, there, there, there's enough growth. It's time to shrink it down a little bit. This is kind of our economy now. It's morbidly obese and on its way to type 2 diabetes in a hurry. Page of Radio News Hour. We'll be back right after the break. 800 951 0592, right? It just makes sense. <laughs> Bigger is not always better. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it just defies logic how these people get away with this. Because remember, listen, inflation is just a tax. It is. You don't realize because they don't call it that. It's a tax. What happens when you get too big? You get inflation. Which means we're just taxing the new you-know-what out of you. Bank of America. It's so funny. They keep, there's, you can just keep track of anything nowadays. Apparently, for like the last 17 years, Bank of America, every earning season, we're in the middle of earning season, tracks how many times in these uh, corporate recaps, for lack of a better word, mentions inflation? A week ago, Bank of America said the mentioning of the word inflation in these corporate reports, quarterly reports, had jumped more than 300% year over year. The biggest jump ever. Now again, they've only been doing this since 2004. Now that was over a little over a week ago. Bank of America has since had to update, you know, we've gotten a lot of earnings since then. It says that the number now of the number of corporate earnings mentioned inflation has now jumped 800% year over year. Again, the largest ever in history. And they made this comment after, you know, they put the chart up on their, you know, their little report and all that stuff and said at the very least, we're seeing transitory hyperinflation. So I loved it, right? <laughs> Be amazing. Like, hey, listen, we're not talking about uh, the. It, let, let, let's just say maybe it's transitory, which it's not. But maybe if, if it is, it's transitory hyperinflation. And then Janet Yellen today, just out of nowhere, says, well, you know, well, maybe. We're going to have to raise interest rates somewhat, a, a, a teeny bit. My ass. And then goes on to try to say how we need these investments. Because we need to grow faster. We need to get bigger. No, we don't. We don't. But in order to make all of this debt, worth what you know what it needs to be it has to be bigger it has to cost more houses have to go up cars gotta go up everything's gotta go up otherwise the debt that's behind it's really not worth it is it 
And of course, it's all leverage to the you know what. But it was very, very interesting in listening to this pre recorded message where she started laying out that we spent $5.3 trillion in stimulus spending, which she calls investments, resulting in more than $3 trillion in budget deficits in 2020, $1.7 trillion shortfall so far this year. Essentially, it's all debt. I mean, that's just what she's, you know, do the math. We spent $5.3 trillion that we didn't have, and it's all gone now. We, we spent it. It's gone poof. That's not an investment. There's no return on the asset. But she wasn't done. She is pushing an infrastructure plan that could see another $4 trillion in a variety of long-term projects. Why not? Let's go big. Right? Hey, if we're going to have transitory inflation, we might as well have hyper-transitory inflation. Why not? She says that the United States needs to focus on fiscal responsibility longer term. What are you talking about? Isn't that kidding me? Well, we need to focus on it, but later. I mean, don't you remember? God, they were they were so impassioned. And, I, and I'm trying I'm making fun of the Republicans. Oh, we can't do this to our children and our grandchildren. Right? Talking about the debt. No one even talks about a balanced budget. And again, it wasn't that long ago. People they want you to they want you to think we've had debt forever. We haven't. You know that surpluses as we did budget deficits from the end of World War II to 1971? It's true. Look it up. It's true. Heck, we ran budget surpluses during the Great Depression. It's true. President Biden is taking a very ambitious approach making up for really over a decade of inadequate investments in infrastructure, in R&D, in people, in communities and small businesses. And this is an active approach, she said. Well, you're right. In your infrastructure bill, you actually have about $250 billion for infrastructure. But not the other two trillion. And research and development, they're doing that. You know, here's the funny part. Companies tend to do that on their own. Right. And the ones that don't do a good job of it, what happens? They go away. They go away. I remember uh, 40 years ago, GE was as good as they get. It was the last time anyone even talked about GE. You just go away. And they're talking about people in communities. What, is, what does that really mean? Hey, we just want to send people checks. How about, did you see the, the governor of Arizona? Hey, you know what? Everybody getting all this free money by not working? I mean, I don't know why this hasn't been going on. With all the, if you're not actively looking for work, no more checks for you. We'll see how quickly people go back to work. It's our radio news hour. We'll be back after the break. 800 951 Listen, wow. You know what? Now I think I figured out why this was pre recorded. Anybody who believes anything Janet Yellen just said, right? I mean, you talk about the, the, a bovine specialist. If it all been stepping in manure. She said, she went on and said, but we've gone way too long 
I'm letting these long-term problems fester in our economy. What long-term problems are you talking about? The only long-term problem we have is debt. Matter of fact, up until our, our elected officials and their brilliance shut down the entire economy, we had the longest expansion in the history of the world. It's never happened before. I mean, that, that's saying something, isn't it? Now, granted, it was all fueled by debt, but what... What are you talking about? There's no truth in that statement at all. But hey, it's pre-recorded. I don't think anyone would have questioned her. Of course, where, where have you been? Let's see. Wait, well, you were the head of the San Francisco Fed. Uh, then you were the head of the actual central bank. Huh. Why are you in the treasury, head of the treasury now, if we've had all these problems while well, you were right there as one of the people in charge of it? And then she said, so, you know, she, she had a lot to say. As for the concerns about the large deficits. She said that we need to pay for some of the things. You know, what? you don't pay for everything. Who does that? I know I'm borrowing all this. I mean, I'm not going to pay for all of it. You know? We, we, you know, we, we just pay for some of it. She said that the government still had a quote-unquote reasonable amount of fiscal space. Well, I, forty trillion—that's reasonable. I, I depends who you ask, I guess. I mean, right now, technically, they're telling us the deficit's twenty-eight trillion, two hundred fifty billion, right? We know the central bank, right? They've got another eight trillion, so you know, I don't want to exaggerate too much here. Thirty-six point two five trillion. Of course, she's already said in her little speech, we got another four trillion we want to do. So I guess maybe Bank of America isn't too crazy when they say every corporate report is talking about inflation. It's smashing records. Uh, and they keep saying transitory. Maybe, uh, I don't know, transitory hyperinflation. Uh, did you see Gas California? Ooh. Approaching five dollars a gallon someplace. It's going to be a brutal summer for gas prices. How about chlorine? I didn't even talk about chlorine. There's going to be a lot. Of... There, well, you won't see it. You see a big chlorine shortage now. Uh, also, do you see what uh, cost? In order to, you know, have you bought paper towels and toilet? I mean. That crap's expensive. Pardon my bone there. Crap's expensive. See what Costco did in... Oh, this is, this is my best one. The shrinkage inflation. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is, this is already really expensive. And we're the, you know, they're the low-cost leaders right when you go uh to pay less uh at least my me and my wife i don't know you know we try not we buy all of our toilet paper and paper towels and stuff like that because costco is the cheapest well i uh, they they really came up with a great plan to offset the huge price increase uh, they just put a lot less in it Yep, according to, uh, they call it uh, Costco, uh, leading the way. They now have 20 fewer sheets in their paper towels. I uh, don't know. They didn't, <laughs> they, they didn't say how many fewer sheets are, are in their, their toilet paper, 
But uh, according to the the sheets, they used to have 160 sheets. Now you only get 140 sheets, and if you can in math, that's about 14 percent inflation. Yeah, that sounds about right. You better get that gold and silver put away. 800-951-0592 is our toll-free number. Gold's actually was up today. was actually right at 1800 bucks, And then the pre-recorded Janet Yellen message came. Right now, gold's down 15 bucks, but still 1775 Uh Took back a little bit of yesterday's game, but kind of right, you know, was yesterday. Uh, silver... Uh, silver is down about 50 cents, so right, right? Silver ran up to $27, uh, $26.40. I've got a hundred twenty dollars Our lead just slipped it into me about uh, three minutes ago. At 2050 So that's 30 bucks off on U.S. $20 gold pieces today. At 800 951 Patriot Radio News Hour. Final segment coming up. 800 951 U.S. $20 gold pieces. $2,050 today at 800 951 Talking about the Governor Ducey last night saying that's it. There's help wanted signs all over the place here. Uh, but why work? Like, you know, here in Arizona, uh, with the extra money from the government on top, you're essentially getting paid 15 bucks an hour at 40 hours a week not to work. Uh, starting now, you have to prove that you're looking. They, 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 that used to be the way you always, you know, you had to prove you were trying to find a job. They did away with that during. I think if all these states follow suit, we'll get people back to work. Here's the problem. <laughs> That's just going to cause more inflation. So, uh, corn up 30% year to date. Corn tortillas, one of my... I uh, probably won't be able to eat that for a while until I get a little smaller. Uh, get ready. Uh, prices, all your corn products uh, getting ready to head higher. Also, gasoline, you know, we talked about, you know, we're, we're going to see, there's no doubt about it, we're going to see issues with gas this summer. Uh, just learn, you always learn something new. Uh, you, to drive uh, the gas tankers, you need a special permit, a hazardous permit. So on top of the CDL, so you just can't have a regular trucker, right? You have to take tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually have to be able to, to read and write and all that stuff. Uh, so the the companies out there are saying, hey, listen, we can't we can't do it. You know, there's everyone needs truckers, right? Blah blah blah. Why do the extra work? Not going to do it. Uh, and 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 I've said it already. I think. I think we're definitely going to see three and four dollar gasoline in the cheap areas, you know, plus in in the expensive areas. Uh, reports already in some of the high high expensive areas in California already at at five. And it again, all the regulations, all these things, probably a good idea, right? Going to come back and bite us in the you know what. Uh, same thing, too. Uh, these companies are saying, hey, you know, people are getting paid not to work. Uh, it's a problem. I, I'm, it's ridiculous, the amount. And, and again, think about what it's going to cost us. Uh, so there's 20 fewer sheets and a roll of paper towels. And maybe next year there's 20 more fewer sheets. Pretty, sh- pretty soon, right? We're down to just a couple of sheets. Either that or, well, you know what? It's $100 for a pack of paper towels. I don't know. 800-951-0592. Very, very interesting day today. Janet Yellen. And when you read the whole thing, she tries to pretend, 
oh no, I know it's just gonna be a teensy weensy bit, and, and we gotta do all this stuff. I mean, I said we we still gotta do it all. What does that really mean? Because you know, up until well, she was on TV this weekend live, not re-recorded, saying, "Oh no, these this won't cause inflation." Now, well, maybe a teeny bit. It's a radio news hour. 800. God bless everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.